双世宠妃二 Internal Love Two Chinese drama episode seventeen, episode eighteen, episode nineteen, and episode twenty is where it gets super exciting. Up to now, these episodes have been my favorite episodes because everything is opening up. In my opinion, this is where the story actually begins. Now let's get started. Internal Love Two, Episode Eighteen, starts off with the first prince Mo Yihui becoming the crown prince, and Chu Pao giving poison to the concubine. Then the crown prince Mo Yihui and eighth prince Mo Liancheng both ask to marry Chu Tang'e, but when the emperor asked Chu Tang'e, she rejected both of the marriage, and she says she already has someone that she likes. If you're already watching the first couple episodes, you know who it is. Here's the first internal love season two episode seventeen kissing. <laughs> 兜兜转转转 A princess came to visit the palace, and she liked the Liu Shang. Chu Tang'e got extremely jealous, and the jealousy became another kiss. Here's another internal love season two episode eighteen kissing. <laughs> The modern Mo Liancheng told Xiao Tang that there's a way for them to go back to modern time, but Jing Xin got kidnapped, so Xiao Tang needed to save her and lost the chance to go back with Mo Liancheng. Internal Love Two, Episode Nineteen, starts with Mo Yihui marrying Chu Pao. This scene feels sad because he is saying Chu Tang's name while marrying a different girl. <laughs> Jing Xin and Xiao Tang got rescued by Fourteenth Prince and Liu Shang. Liu Shang knows that he can't live any longer, so here comes the typical drama scene where the guy tries to lie to the girl that he doesn't love her anymore. I honestly don't get it. The guy might think it's good for the girl, but the girl will regret knowing this afterwards. Internal Love Two, Episode Nineteen and Episode Twenty is where all the story reveals itself. Ancient Mo Liancheng figures out the truth about Liu Shang that he's the modern Mo Liancheng. The princess is super nice. She knows that Liu Shang is using her, but she wants to help him and Xiao Tang. So she told Xiao Tang the truth about Liu Shang's health condition, and also tried to save her. Xiao Tang goes to find modern Mo Liancheng, which is Liu Shang. And this is one of my favorite kiss scenes from Internal Love Two. Here's the Internal Love Two episode twenty last kiss scene. Episode twenty ends with Xiao Tang being taken away from her so-called father because he knows that she is the owner of Zheng Hunzhu. That's the end of my preview and review on Internal Love Two, Episode Seventeen, Episode Eighteen, Episode Nineteen, and Episode Twenty. I think these episodes are where the drama gets interesting because the story is revealing itself, and here's where the action starts. Hope everyone enjoyed the preview of Internal Love Two, Episode Seventeen to Episode Twenty. Please comment below on what you would like to see more on this channel, and make sure to like and subscribe for more future videos.